The new Macan has a big threshold in the areas and aerodynamics. Driving dynamics complement the new theme of water management and virtual experience. Simulations help us to optimize topics, look at small areas on the vehicle more closely and make changes. We have two active systems that are the cooling air valves and the rear spoiler. In this film it is nice to see how our active systems work. First you see how the cooling air valves move from closed to open and while the camera swings around the vehicle you see very nice how the rear spoiler drives into its two exit positions eco and perfo and how the flow around the vehicle changes accordingly. Uh, we can start in principle with a situation where we still have the freedom to change things. The Merkan was actually the first project where we're the fully used in the entire development operation. In this video here, for example, you see a vehicle, you have a water passage, and you see in principle also a simulation of how there is a bow wave pushed in front of the vehicle. The interesting thing about the end though is actually not the exterior view that you see on this video, but rather the fact that in the simulation you can easily look into the vehicle, which is a luxury that you do not have in reality in this way, we can position certain things there, for example vents or even air intakes of certain components. Especially in driving dynamics, we have the claim that you are the best in the glass. Of course, it is extremely important that we also closely monitor the chassis design on the spot, or then also test it virtually, in order to meet the requirements we face ourselves accordingly. With this type of structure, we can make a lot of components of the vehicle interior visible and visible. For this topic, experienceability here is very important, that is the test subjects sitting here can perceive the interior, the sense of space as it is. And the second important topic here in the experimental setup is our VR glasses. With VR glasses it is possible for the person sitting in here to look at the whole vehicle. That is not only the components that are now here in hardware, but everything that is depicted in our 3D model. We can make what is very important variants of parts, switch the vehicle through here, we can set up such topics as the exposure, the time of day, and we can jump into different eye points here too. And so the direct comparison for the test person is of course much, much more direct and therefore much more efficient. The advantage here with this virtual experience that we provide here is that we have already very, very many variants and concepts at a very early stage. It is possible to make pre-decisions and thus reduce the number of variants that are then physically built. The flow simulations are becoming more complex, more accurate and more high resolution, but the absolute values provided at the end, such as air resistance or lift coefficients, are still coming from the wind tunnel. We are not building this large state-of-the-art wind tunnel at Porsche for nothing if we could replace him with simulation. Uh, in this video you can now see a daytime rain of the Macan. Here you actually want to look back into the interior of the vehicle. For example, I have a video of the front car here. This is the water flow from the window, from the front window to the water tank cover. And then at the end, at the bottom of the bottom panel, it comes back out of the vehicle. In this video you can actually see the complexity from a water management in the front car because there you can do a very good job with the simulation very early. The water box is mainly used as a body water waterproof test bench, that is. What we are looking at here is a vehicle that stands what is raining with different amounts of water, also at different times. Some things we cannot replace by simulation. There are just certain issues on the vehicle that have to do with tolerances, even in production, which we simply have to hedge on the vehicle at the end. Was mich jetzt gefreut.
I'm glad now, during the development of the Meccan, the predictions and the virtual testing, for example, in terms of driving performance, consumption and driving dynamics were how good. So it's great for us because with each generation of vehicles we map, we are moving forward with our methods and technologies that are changing so quickly and we are, of course, trying to keep up with it, just to use the most efficient method that is available at the time. And we have, of course, the big goal, many areas from the current still real testing in the virtual area to be able to develop there more cost effectively in the hope for the future is of course to make as little hardware as possible and the most beautiful attempt is of course the one that ends up just working without anything happening